the reason I crafted these three episodes is to lay down a solid foundation in SOLIDWORKS drawings for you. Why? Because I want to introduce you to GDNT. That's geometric dimensioning and tolerancing. And it's been the secret sauce of big manufacturing companies since the late 1950s. And its importance is only growing. It's not just the technique, it's your ticket to standing out from the crowd. So before I dive deeper into these episodes, do one thing for your future self. Click on the link in the description below. Go save your spot for October 5th when I host a one hour free GDNT training. And trust me, you don't want to miss this. Go do that so we can get back to the video. Sheet formatting and templates are very important, especially if you're going to design that for the whole department and company. That would leave a very strong mark of your presence at work. And I think it's necessary. Every drawing sheet needs a template. Just look at this table over here for Think at My Company. You need a drawing number, you need the name of the component there are different factors that i will list like this and you can choose which one you would need the most for your drawing template choose it wisely some of these are necessary some of them are nice to have for example a drawing number and a title is necessary but for example surface finish is nice to have for some people is necessary so i will leave it up to you to choose which one you want to have here but the ones i have is the logo the scale who created this drawing and what date and if there is a revision there will be a revision b and the description of the change what has changed who did that on what day maybe a person needs to approve my change so there will be a different column we're gonna cover all of this and I'm gonna show you how to save that as a template so next time you start your drawing everything that you have set will be there from the start so right click on the drawing sheet and click on edit sheet format as you can see it's just nothing but a normal sketch you have all the sketching tools here you can draw a line don't be surprised that the thickness of the line is different than the ones that you see on a default mode is thicker this one is thinner and and if you have watched my videos from the past, you will see you can right click, go to toolbars and activate line format, which I have already done. And it appears here. So you can see I can change the thickness of my line on default. I think we are at yeah default. And what I have changed this to is 0.35 or you can just change it to thicker or thinner and have different line thicknesses. OK, we can also change this framing around here. This ABCD with a double click, we can just select it, press delete and delete it and draw your own margin, draw your own segments but we're not going to change that. It's okay for now. Right click and delete. Let's just say we want to add a column here like this, a person who approves it. When I hold the control and drag it, it just duplicates it. Approved by, for example, approved by, then boom. Now, this is one thing to create this table and put everything in the right place. And it's whole another to add the information, for example, Let's just say we have created this table, which is not difficult. Okay. And about the logo, all you have to do is just to go to insert, click on picture and insert it here and boom, you have it. So that's not difficult. Everything you see here is just a line and a text, the title, this one, all of it, but we want to take it up a notch. Okay. First of all, when I rebuild this sheet format, I will see the table, but I cannot just enter anything here. Okay. And you don't want to go to annotations and notes and just type, you know what? Approved by James. Oh, the font is too big. Let's just make it smaller, you know? And next time you want to do that for the date, it does not work like this. You should not work like this. The way we do it is through title blocks. Okay. So right click sheet format. And when we do this, we go to sheet format tab up here. We see title blocks, but we are not ready to use it. We're going to put some placeholders. How? So for example, I'm going to put the placeholder here and just do it like this. This is my placeholder and it's really important to know how many spaces or how many characters I'm inserting in it. If I add two more X in it, then the length of the text before it breaks down to the next line will be this much. And I will tell you what I mean by that. When I set the number of characters that I'm going to fit inside this box, I will double click it and then I press delete and I click here. You will see an empty box crossed like this. We would need this. Now I'm going to hold control and duplicate this and we have this magnetic effect. So I'm going to leave it to the next box, next box. This column is just an example. As you can see, I have to divide it in half like this to put the date, but this is for the example. You can do that yourself. No need to show you that. So we need one box each here. Then we need boxes around here and here. 
but the lower half is for the date okay we will change this later so let's just select these two now duplicate two at once like this right and now we want four more duplicated and put it here now i can do this for everything and everywhere like this for this for the revision all of that okay you know the drill i just want to show you how it works the concept you could do it for the drawing number for tolerances for units for material for everything and if you watched the previous episode you saw there was an error it showed sheet one out of one it should be one out of two we will fix this two in this video okay now, once I've done this, I would go to the title block field and define a title block field, which you can see here. This field should be as big as the table, preferably. No bigger, no smaller. We just leave it here. Now, inside this field, any text that you see like this one or the empty boxes that we have created can be selected. When we select it, we create a manual input for our text with the size, font, and length that we have defined once we are outside of the edit sheet format mode. I know what I said was complex. Let me show you what I mean. The order that I'm going to select these matter, but let's just select from here. This, 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 that, that. And we continue. We select everything we want to select in the right order. We want to select it. This is not the proper order you should be selecting it. It's just for the sake of the example, but I'm going to select this, 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 that, ISO, and anything else now click OK. And now I can just rebuild this and go out of the edit sheet mode, or I could just go to five first, save sheet format, which is SLDDRT, give it a name, I just say with title blocks. And then we have saved this sheet format, which we can open next time. Now, as you can see, the table looks as usual, but this time for changing something, I don't have to right click and click edit sheet format. That's the beauty of it. All I have to do is double click here. You see the blue fields are the title blocks that I have selected. I can just click here and say the part, you know, and the drawing number should be B actually. The material should be poem H and the unit should be maybe IPS. Okay, so we you get the point, right? We can change anything here. And now on revision B, we have changed the size of the holes for example approved by james cameronia let's just say the supervisor is james cameronia and now his name is breaking into the next field that's what i meant let's just leave it like that and the date today so we just type in whatever we want to type manually this time but i will show you how you can do it automatically as well on your fellow okay now that's okay and we click this checkbox everything looks good except this james cameronia so we have to take care of this right click edit sheet format some names are longer so we hopefully can select this move it somewhere that makes sense now we do this okay it's too much next line and do we want to have a third line okay sure why not Maybe some people have longer names. Now, this is the size of my text, okay? Right click, sorry, double click, press delete and click okay. Let's just test this. This time, if I type James Cameronia. Hmm. So to fix the James Cameronia, let's just try it again, James Cameronia. Cameronia, Cameroniati. He has a very long name and it's causing problems. So we need to set this title block fixed inside this box so it would not break out. How do we do this? Right click, go to edit sheet format and double click on this. First of all, delete this. You have to create a customized one. I'm gonna delete this box and go to annotation, text, place it here. And this time I'm gonna fix the length of the text box here and click OK. Now we go to sheet format, title blocks, and we pick it and we click OK and try it this time, OK? Outside of the edit sheet format and type James Cameroniati. Now it worked, it went to the next line, but the issue was the font was too big. So we have to go back and fix it again. Right click, edit sheet format. This should now be 12, maybe it should be 10, even less, maybe six. Now, Whatever the name is, James, okay, Cameroniati the third. 
Now everything is fixed inside this box. It would now go out of it, just like the name of the component. The part is a random part, and that is its name. Deal with it, okay? It just goes to the next line. It breaks the line. It does not go out of the sheet. How do we do this? By fixing the field of our text same thing so that's how it works with title blocks and obviously we don't want to leave it like this when we save it we delete everything we leave it empty because we want to save it as a template we just select everything after resizing the text field we delete it this should be here this should go so i just delete everything on this one Right, right, ISO stays. By the way, these one, two, three, and four boxes should be replaced by this one. So I'm gonna select this and edit sheet format, first of all. This should go and we duplicate this one. It's just like this one, but when we duplicate it, it looks smaller. But believe me, if you select it as a title block, type in it, it just follows the same format as the one you copied it from. Good, now this sheet one out of, this is not good. We right click edit sheet format. We wanna fix this and make it automated, okay? How do we do this? First of all, I will delete this one here because it's manual and I duplicate this to the right like that and then i delete it and then here it needs a value the value i want to assign to this should be automatic so i should calculate it itself so when i click on it instead of going to title blocks i go to property manager and i click on this icon which is called link to property when we link it to a property we have to choose what property we want to link it to let's just find what we are looking for sheet format current sheet total sheets so total sheets, click OK and reveal shield format. Now we only have one sheet, but when I add a second sheet, second one is two out of two, first one, one out of two. So that's how you automate this. For example, another thing I can automate is the date date of creation you don't want to set that it's also linked to a property as you can see when i go here it's linked to short format date something like this last save date you could do that but we don't want this you could go create a date short date yeah that's the short date format that i have selected you could do that name of the creator can also be linked to the property author okay but in order to get the author you need to assign the name of the author to your part let me show you how you can add these values to the properties of your component so over here you can take these information we open this model and now we are inside the part mode we go to file we go to properties and over here this is where we add the properties author is Aryan Falahi and title could be the part I just leave it like this, rebuild and go back. Now, this can take this information from this property table that we changed inside the part mode, okay? Before I save this template, I wanna tell you how you can change the sheet color. Maybe you want to do that, go to settings, type color. So over here, inside the system options color, we have all the options that can change in color and our sheet drawing paper color is set to this. If you wanna go white, for example, you can, then you have a white paper just in case you wanna change it. You don't have to. And changing the dimensions and changing the arrow sizes can also be changed inside the setting. The fastest way to do that is to type dimension. Just go here. Inside the document properties dimensions, you could choose how many digits your dimensions should have if you want a dual dimension that is in two different unit systems change the size of the arrows change the size of the text change the font of the dimensions everything can be changed here and i leave it up to you even tolerances how many digits should they have on default once you set everything after you change the color if you want to after you drew the table after you assign the title blocks everywhere once everything is done and ready we could delete what we have completely so after you delete everything we go to file we save the sheet format which we just did think at two and now one more thing you save this as drawing template drwdot okay so let's just call it a0 think at with title blocks okay when I save this and I close it I can see next time I'm going to open a new drawing it should appear somewhere here. This is it with title blocks, okay? Now I can open it. The logo is there. The title blocks is there. I can just keep typing whatever I want. And let's just say James 
Cameroniati. Just click away and see what happens. Boom. We did copy this on the small one and it should follow the same Cameroniati DiCaprio. Okay. It fits inside the box, so don't worry about it. And I think the title was the same thing. If I keep typing, it just fits inside the box as well. So we have the template, it's saved. Now you could give this template to your peers, the whole department. You could create it in different sheet sizes, A4, A5, or the US paper size. And once you save it on the server and give access to all the SOLIDWORKS licenses at work, whole department will be working on one unique sheet format, which is amazing. And you just make it much easier for your colleagues to type in and add the inputs they wanna have. So this is it, this is how you create your drawing sheet format, save it as a template, add the title blocks, add the table. In the next video, we're going to cover the advanced features and symbols like GDNT symbols, weldment symbols, bill of materials, auto ballooning, alignment breaks, configurations, overriding a value and creating a parametric table. So those will be covered in the next video. In the meantime, I'm going to put the link to my course. Go check it out. If you have watched the episode one and episode two to this point, you are serious. I'm telling you, you can skip the next video on YouTube. You may choose to watch it. That's up to you. But if you're serious, go check my course. I have a SOLIDWORKS course pro and a GDNT course pro. And these two will make you a star in your company. People are going to come to you and ask for help from peers, colleagues, and people above you. You will be untouchable because you will be the go-to guy in SOLIDWORKS. Go check it out if you're serious. If you want to build your career, if you want to improve you need to have these skills and I have covered it perfectly in a course that is rated 4.9 out of 5. Okay, go check it out. And again, I'll see you in the next video. Hi there, SolidWorks lovers and enthusiasts. I have some exciting news for you because I'm launching a comprehensive course on GDNT on October 5th at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time or 6 p.m. Pacific Time and you don't want to miss it because to kick things off, I'm also hosting a one hour free class at the very same time. And in order to not miss that, you have to sign up through the link below this video. Go sign up now so we notify you just before we go live. You don't want to miss this free class. It's a comprehensive course on GDNT and it would be pure value for you. If you have watched this video, this mini series about drawing, you don't want to miss GDNT. Trust me, it's free and it's on October 5th, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Go sign up now. I'll see you there.